Welcome back to Dano Does Things. This week, I'll show you how to make some cute and spooky felt Halloween bunting. First, download and print the free pattern from the description box below. Next, cut out the pattern pieces and use them to trace onto your felt. Cut out two ghosts in white and two ghost faces in black. Cut out one B in black. Cut out two O's in black. Cut out two candy corn bases in white. Cut out two orange candy corn stripes. And cut out two yellow candy corn stripes. Glue the ghost faces onto one side of each ghost base using a dab of hot glue. Of course, you can always make up your own ghost faces. Then glue the candy corn stripes onto the candy corn base. You only need a little bit of glue as it's just holding it to make it easier to sew around the edges later. Speaking of, don't put glue near the edges as it'll make it nearly impossible to sew through. Next, we'll fold our pieces in half and sew all along the edges of all the pieces, leaving the little middle tab free. We will sew them using a blanket stitch using matching embroidery thread. To do the first blanket stitch, bring your needle between the two pieces of felt and then up through the top piece. Bring your needle to the back and come up through the back piece of felt. Pull the thread up through the middle to the left of the stitch you just made and pull taut. For the rest of the blanket stitches, take your needle through both layers of felt from front to back, then make sure the thread catches the loop you just made and pull tight. Continue all the way around until you have just an inch gap left. Using the small gap, we are going to stuff each piece. Whenever I cut felt, I keep the small scraps and then cut them up into very small pieces and use that to stuff things. You can also use wool or batting or whatever you have handy. You can use a chopstick or something similar to help get the stuffing into the corners. With some of the pieces like the letters, it may be easier to stuff small sections as you go. Once it is stuffed, finish your blanket stitches along the edge. After you have completed all your pieces, take a piece of yarn or string or ribbon and thread it through the top tabs. And that's it. Your Halloween bunting is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.